Uh, hi everyone, it's uh, Mr. A from Another Watch Time. And yeah, it's definitely been a long time. Uh, first things first, to those of you who've kindly subscribed to the channel and have stayed around, my deepest gratitude. And of course, to those of you who've seen my videos and left comments and questions, my sincere love and respect. Of, I've made it a point to make sure that I reach each and every one of the comments and to an answer any of the questions that you guys might have had and I'm really genuinely grateful um, you know where, where do I even start you know so after I said my you know had a first set of a few videos you know I started going deep into thought about how I wanted to get this channel set up you know that was supposed to take only a few days which became a few weeks and of course you know that went out to be a few months the next thing you know you know it's been well over one year um, I realized that doing nothing but planning, you know, just really got me confused and lazy, I guess, you know, again, it's been over one year since I posted my first videos and again, all the delay, that's all me. Uh, long story short, I realized I'm achieving nothing by just overthinking, I guess. So I'm back again. I decided that I'm just going to keep things as simple and honest as possible. Uh, my goal is just to get the camera rolling, you know, this should have been the first move from the get-go And of course, you know over the course of the year a lot has changed in terms of my watch collection As well as my collecting strategies, you know with the major thing, you know, I guess the major thing being that um, I no longer have the Grand Seiko SB GX337 in my possession Yeah um, So the intention, you know with this channel when I first started was for me to communicate, you know, with whoever would have interest in listening to me about, you know, the watches that I like, the pieces that I will be leaning towards, and everything else, you know, related to watches. You know, I have a set of collection, a, a, a set of watches, you know, in my collection that I've had and owned for, you know, some time now. And I realized, you know, my preferences and feelings have changed. But I think most importantly, you know, it's the fact that I know this will be continuous and my feelings and my collecting strategy will continue to evolve. You know, that ended up with me flipping, I guess, my Grand Seiko as well as a few other pieces that I've owned before, you know, but which I've never had a chance to share those, you know, with you guys. Um, now that I'm back, you know, I will still review these pieces that I've owned, you know, over the course of time. And I guess, you know, provide my two cents as to why I moved from these pieces and how I've enjoyed them, you know, while I had them in my possession. So before I get started, you know, reviewing, I guess, you know, the first couple of things I wanted to mention is that, you know, I'm actually not going to set a time frame for myself, you know, with the channel in terms of the videos, you know, because as you guys know, that didn't really work out too well. But of course, definitely, you know, I will post videos and become much more active on the channel once again. I looked at the quality of the videos that I produced and also realized that, you know, I definitely needed to step up my game. So, you know, I ended up picking up a few equipments. I'm sure you could tell from the quality of the video itself as well as the sound that you're getting from this video itself. And, you know, I'm really just going to maximize all these things to provide you guys with the best content in the best means possible. I guess having said that, you know, I do have a piece that I wanted to get started with and it's this guy right here. <laughs> 